Hello and welcome to our first tutorial. This is Tron from Homegrown Audio. This time we're going to make a kick and a bass with Serum and to put them both in phase together. Let's get started. First of all, let's open a Serum. Set your tempo to something that you would like. Now, open basic shapes on the oscillator and you want it to start from the same place always, so random down. Now, envelope one, we want the attack right down, so it starts right away, and that's it. Envelope two, well, we'll get to that later. LFO one is going to be our main amp envelope. So volume down on oscillator one and assign LFO one to it. Now you want it to be on envelope mode and one eighth. Now let's go to envelope two. This is going to be our pitch envelope. And again, we want it on one eighth and envelope mode. Assign this to your course pitch. So the kick, it's okay, but I want more high frequencies on it. That's why I want to use envelope two. So set the sustain right down and we want to decay of roughly one to five milliseconds, depends on your taste. Now it's important, it's unipolar. So that already sounds like a pretty good kick. Now let's make a MIDI part. We're going to paint some notes. It's important that the kick is in the middle section of your keyboard. This way, pitch up and down will cover all the spectrum. Now, LFO1, or the amp envelope, we have here the attack and the sustain, and this slope down is the release. We can really get it all the way up to the eighth with this point. LFO1, or the amp envelope, will act also as an equalizer. You see the left side is the high frequencies and the right side is the low frequencies, as opposed to an equalizer. Now, let's make the bass line. We're going to open up another serum. So this is a sawtooth already, but I don't like the ramp up. So I'm going to change it to another waveform. I like to experiment with waveforms and wavetables. Again, random phase down. And let's catch the phase of this wavetable right at the start. Envelope two and envelope one need zero attack, so they're very snappy. And I like the decay of them to be just as long as one sixteenth, because that's the length of the note that we're going to use. Now, turn on the filter and assign envelope two to the filter cutoff. I also like it on unipolar resonance all the way down.
playing around with the sustain is going to do the shape of the bass. So you want to adjust it until you're happy with it. Let's see how the kick and bass are interacting with each other. I'll open Mexoscope, which is a free plugin from Smart Electronics. Now set the time to 0 0.033. It depends on the BPM, but this is a very safe bet if you're doing this kind of style. spikes in the end of the kick and the beginning of the first bass note. We're going to adjust the phase on the oscillator on the kick drum. Moving this phase knob, you can really tune in the kick and the bass together. That already looks partially in face. If we adjust the face on the oscillator, the sine wave can turn 360 degrees. We can really adjust the kick and the bass very smoothly. Now let's open Equilibrium. Let's look at the spectrum of this baseline. There are some harmonics that are uneven. I would like to make them even sort of like with a ruler. So instead of using an EQ, which is a very destructive way of handling this, let's use the table edit from Serum. Every one of these bars is one of the harmonics, included the fundamental, which is the first one. If you turn one down all the way, that harmonic will disappear. So you can really, really EQ this very finely. Finally, let's set up the amp envelope of the bass. Last but not least, let's add a side chain. I will use an LFO tool as a side chain for this. I like to do steep curves in the LFO tool. This way, I can really feel the dynamic. You can see 
now how the kick is perfectly in phase with the bass. You can, if you want, turn up the snap on LFO tool and just have a little bit more control in between the steps. Now, I don't know if you know this, but if you pull this little corner with shift, you are able to stretch it all the way this way and helps to check how tight your base is. So check it out. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you think this was helpful or useful, like and subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.